Hey my babies! Welcome back to the channel! Hey my kiddies! You are new to the channel, hi! I know there's a few newbies, um, so I would just like to welcome you guys to the channel, you know what I'm saying? You're part of the K-Day fam now, you know what I'm saying? You're an official K-Day for life, yes, you know what I'm saying? We're a family, okay? We're a team, you know what I'm saying? It's gang, 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 dying over here, okay? <laughs> but anyways, like I said, welcome to the family, to my new subbies, and to my old babies. Hey, y'all. So my last video was a story time I did. Um, I'll pop the thumbnail up like right here or somewhere. But um, I did a story time about about an experience that I had in high school. Yeah, just read the thumbnail <laughs> and read the title and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, that story time, you know, seemed to be doing really good, you know what I'm saying? Seemed like you guys like it, you know what I'm saying? Last time I checked, I was at like 1,800 views on it and it's only been like a day and a half, I think, since I uploaded. So I was like, you know what I'm saying? Since y'all don't like, you know what I'm saying? Being yeah, nosy, basically. Y'all like a nigga spilling tea. I guess I'll spill some more tea for y'all. Y'all seen that title, y'all seen that thumbnail. So yes, you guys, it is very much true. Oh, and before I start this video, let me say, um, disclaimer, I am not talking about my boss where I work at now. Where I am currently employed at now, I am not talking about that boss. This is at a whole nother job. This is like 10 years ago. So yeah, that's why I'm talking about it. This is something old and this has nothing to do with where I work at now or the people that work there, okay? So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the story, you guys. I was about, okay, let me see. I was, I had to be about 18, I think. Or was I 19? I was 18, I'm tripping. I was 18 years old, working at Subway. Oh yeah, one more thing, you guys. Y'all already know I'm not dropping names. Me telling you guys where I work at, I feel like, you know, like, that's big enough. <laughs> Even though it's nothing, because there's so many Subways. But, <laughs> y'all already know. I'm not dropping names. Anyways. Okay, so I'm working at Subway. I'm 18 years old. At this time, this is my second job. First job was at King's Cleaners and my mom got me on there. I think I was like 16 or something. Anyways, okay. So I'm 18 years old. Me and my mom had just actually moved back from Texas and we were staying on Airline and the Warren House Apartments. So it was me and I was like, I want a job. I was in school, I wanted a job because it was so much stuff that I had wanted. Like I was into baby fat at that time and I love baby fat. Then they had all this Kobe Bryant stuff that I wanted to get cause like I love Kobe Bryant, like that was my baby. So I used to want to get like a lot of Kobe Bryant stuff, like a lot of baby fat stuff. And I knew, you know, my mom couldn't really afford all that. Like, my mom made sure, you know, I had everything I need. She made sure I was good, me and my brothers. But when it came to wants, <laughs> like, we didn't get everything we wanted. Majority of what I wanted, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm me. <laughs> no, but for us. Like, for I did, like, y'all, I'm, I'm the only girl, okay? So, of course, I'm going to get what I want, all right? But, y'all, I was very considerate. Like, I never even told my mama this, but I was very considerate. I didn't want my mom paying for all my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm 18 years old. I know I could work because I already been working. You know, so I was like, hey, why not get a job? So I went and applied at the subway right by my house. Um, the subway on airline. It used to be a Sam's across the street from it, but they turned it into a bingo hall. But yeah, it's like right before you get to Chata by the railroad tracks, that subway. Yep, that one. So anyways, like they're just opening. The subway is just not opening. So I'm like, okay, they got a subway that they just opened right here, I'll go apply there. So I walk up there, you guys, to go apply, and they have the manager there. It's him, and there's this beautiful lady, and there's another girl, and some kids. So I go in, and I tell them, you know, I'm looking for a job. So the lady, she gives me a paper application, she tells me to fill it out and bring it back. And also, 
the man was also bringing me an application. It's like both of them was bringing me an application, but the lady got to me first. So the man walked up closer or whatever. She introduced him. She told me that that was her husband. We're going to call him. Where are we going to call him? Hmm. We're going to call him. We're going to call him Mr. Duck. <laughs> okay. So, and we're going to call the lady Miss Amber, okay? No, we're not going to call her Miss Amber because I know her Amber. We're going to call her Miss Dora, okay? So, Miss Dora introduced herself and her husband and her kids. And she told me that, you know, they had just brought the place and, you know, it's going to be a family business. So, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. They black, it's, it's black owned. So, I'm like, okay, that's the plug. Y'all, it was like the next day. It wasn't even much two weeks. It was like the next day. They called me back and it was him, Mr. Duck. <laughs> he called. He was like asking me, when can I start? I was like, as soon as possible. He was like, well, great. Can you start tomorrow? I'm like, sure. So I was like, okay, come in tomorrow. So bam, I got the job. Okay, let me, you know, fast forward. I was just trying to tell you guys, you know, how I got on. So anyways, <clears throat> I'm working there for about three weeks now. And the whole three weeks that I've been working there, this man, Mr. Duck, has been flirting with me. Like, the whole three weeks. Like, he's, he's been flirting with me, but he was very discreet with it. Like, it was kind of like a... It was, it was like a flirt. It was like he was trying to play it off. Like, he was... Let me see. Let me think how I can word it. Hold on. Like, when I get, when I'm, I get too excited and then I can't get my stuff out. So, let me me get it together and think <laughs> okay so he was basically flirting with me like um okay like for instance like if i'm getting the bread off the um the little oven or whatever he'll come over and he'll try to like put his head on top of mine like he like he's trying to get a bread or something and then look at me and smile like stuff like that okay so i'm 18 at the time and uh to be like honest with you guys, like I've never ever been really like the aggressive type. <clears throat> like I've I've never been the aggressive type. Like if a guy holler at me, I'm not the type of chick that's gonna be like, ugh, no, ugh, bye. Like I don't do all that. Like I'ma just politely be like, oh no, no, thank you, no, I'm good. I got somebody, whatever, whatever. You know, like I'm not finna just be rude and just, you know, for what? Like you, it's a it's a way to do everything. You know what I'm saying? But I also feel like you know what I'm saying. That's a weakness of mine because sometimes people take advantage of that, and it's it's crazy because sometimes I really be want to be meaner than I am. Like sometimes in some situations, I really be want to be like real life. Like I could be a bitch. Like don't get it twisted. Like I could be a bitch, but. I just can't really be mean, like, not for no reason, you know, like, if I'm a bitch, it's because somebody gave me a reason to be, but anyways, okay, that's off topic, okay, so, I'm saying all that to say, you know, I didn't really know how to, I didn't know how to, like, I didn't know how to take that, I didn't know how to handle it, like, to be honest, my whole life, I've been getting hit on and flirted away, like, so it's not like it was something new to me, it was just, you know, Honestly, I was scared. I was a tad bit scared because this man is older. This man is like 40 something. I'm 18. Like, you're old enough to be my dad. I'm not attracted to you. Like, it just was not cool for me. So, I'm three weeks into working and he asked me to stay after closing to do inventory. He told me that he wanted to teach me how to do inventory because he wanted me to become a manager. <clears throat> So I was like, okay, but in the back of my head, y'all, I'm already thinking like, damn, like, what if this nigga try something? <laughs> like, yo, what if he try something for real? So like, I'm already thinking that in the back of my head, but I was just like, you know what, you know, I can learn how to, you know, do inventory and I can become a manager. So, you know, what if that's all he really do want? What if he not trying to try nothing? So anyways, I end up staying, you guys. Everybody left. It's just me and him there. And I'm counting the chips. You know, I'm doing inventory. Like, he's in his office. I'm counting everything. I'm like, oh, okay. You know? It was like, as soon as I thought that, you guys, he called me. Like, he like he was reading my mind or something. <sighs> 
So he called me into the office. I went back there. So I'm in his office. And then he starts telling me, you know, how beautiful he thinks I am. And how since he since the first day he saw me, he's just been so attractive to me. And I'm just so beautiful. And you guys, like I told you guys, there was a beautiful woman there. His wife is gorgeous. Like, his wife is gorgeous. She's like this chocolate complexion. She was tall with a nice ass body. I'm talking about nice body, no stomach, big ass booty, nice hips. I'm talking about she was bad, yo. Like, she was nice. So I'm like, bro, you got a badass wife and kids. Like, what is you doing? Like, this is what I'm thinking in my head. So he's just steady coming on to me and he's also walking closer to me. So I'm kind of like bagging back. And at this time, I guess he could kind of tell I was uncomfortable because I'm like bagging back. So he stopped and he was like, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, if, if I'm offending you or if I'm, you know, coming on too strong. And y'all, honestly, like any other girl probably would have said, yeah, anybody else probably would have said something to curse him out. But I just, like, I don't know. I just couldn't. I just was like, um, I just, you know, I told him it's okay. I was like, it's okay, you know. I'm going to just go back out and finish doing what I was doing or whatever. So, I obviously, by me saying that and by me not saying no, that's what made him feel comfortable enough to continue. So, he starts trying to rub on my shoulder so i'm like you know leaning back doing like this or whatever so at this point i guess he's just like fucking i'm gonna just be straight up and roll with her he was like i'll give you 500 dollars just to sleep with me for 15 minutes and i'm like what like this this is my face i'm like what so i guess he took that as if i was saying like as, as if I was saying that's an insult. Like, no, nigga, that's not enough. So he said, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Make that a thousand. He was like, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. I'll give you a thousand dollars for 15 minutes. And y'all, all I could do was, just, I cry. <laughs> I'm such a baby sometimes. Like, I really, I just, tears started coming down my eyes. I started crying. And he was like, what's wrong? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. What did I do? He was like, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. He's like, just act like I never said that. Like, he's just now, you know, apologizing and, and kissing my ass and trying to make sure I don't tell nobody, you know, pretending like he never said that. So, you know, I just leave out, go in the bathroom, get some tissue, you know, wiping myself up. And honestly, y'all, like, it's... <clears throat> This story to me is, like, honestly, it was hard for me because I've been molested. Like, I was molested for years of my life. Like, for years, for a long time, by several men in my family. So, that's not something, you know, that's not something I talk about. To people that's not something i tell too many people um but i mean hey that's reality that's life you know like and if anybody is watching this and you are being molested even though i don't have like a very young audience but eventually i know this video is going to be seen like all across the world like i know that manifestation <laughs> i don't believe it and really <laughs> Like, I know eventually there's going to be young girls watching this video. And if you are being molested or if anything is going on that shouldn't be going on with you and any type of man, any man, whether it's someone in your family, a friend of the family, whether it's your brother, your dad, your uncle, anyone, let someone know, you know, like, let someone know because for the longest i was scared to tell someone i'm getting off topic so anyways i've been molested so when i was in that situation like that's all that ran through my head like y'all it was crazy because like <clears throat> at that point in time like i didn't even want to be pretty like i felt like stuff like that was happening to me and it always happened to me because i was pretty and it was crazy because 
for the longest, when I was younger, I didn't even think I was cute. Like, I didn't even used to think I was all that pretty. And it was like, you know, like, the older I got, the more, the more I became comfortable with myself. Like, the more I started believing that I was beautiful, the more I started believing, you know, that I am pretty and all that stuff. So, by 13, you know, I felt, by 13, I wasn't feeling like the ugly duckling like I used to. I, by 13, I didn't really feel ugly. Like, I felt like I was pretty. You know, people used to always tell me I was pretty. I don't know why I thought I was ugly. Because <laughs> people used to always tell me I was pretty. But I just never, like, fed into it. I don't know. So, by 13, though, you know, my self-confidence was up. So, you know, now I'm 18. And, and this is happening with my boss. And all I could think about it is when I was younger, like, and how I would get molested by these men in my family. And <clears throat> I used to feel like, you know, it's because I'm pretty. Like, that's what they used to tell me, that I'm pretty. So it really made me not even want to be pretty no more. I was like, if, you know, I got to go through this just because I'm pretty, like, I don't even want to be pretty no more. And it's so crazy. Like, y'all, I can't make this shit up. Like, this is... The fact that I felt like it's now thinking about it, like it makes sense to me. And I'm not going to go too deep into all that because that's off topic. But it does make sense to me, like why I feel like that, why I thought like that. But y'all, that's crazy. Like that's crazy thinking. And yeah, man, men have no right to molest you, to rape you, or mistreat you just because you're pretty. Okay? So, anyways, moving on. So, I'm in a bathroom you know, wiping my tears and everything. And I come out and he's at the door, you know what I'm saying? He's, <laughs> he's at the door and he got a hundred dollars in his hand. And he's just like, I'm so sorry. Please keep this between me and you. Could you please act like I never said that? He said, I would never say that to you again. He was like, here's a hundred dollars. I just want to give this to you for staying late. Y'all, BS. But I took the hundred dollars. <laughs> I took the hundred dollars though. <laughs> and, um... You know, like, after that, I didn't really have a problem at the, out of him no more. Like, honestly. Like, after that, I didn't have a problem out of him. Uh, I knew... <sighs> I knew I was not the only girl that he was going to try that with or do that with. I could also tell... I know I wasn't the first girl. I could tell, like, that was something he was used to. Because, y'all, he was so slick. Like, the way he would flirt, even with his wife right there, with his wife right there... He would still flirt with me. Like, he would do it in the slickest way. And it was just so disgusting. It was, like, so disgusting, so uncomfortable. And, ugh, like, Mr. Duck, you, you, I know by now, I know he's been, I know he's been caught. I know his wife, I know she has, I know she has caught him by now. Because, y'all, first of all, even though he was slick with it, like he's like I said, I know I was not the first and I was not the only girl. There was other girls that worked there who told me he tried the same. I never told them about him offering me the money, but there was other girls that told me, you know, like he tried to come on to, the, to them or he was like flirting with them. So I, I assume, you know, he offered them money too to sleep with them. So I don't know if they did it. I don't know if they took it or not. Would you? Would you have taken it? I don't know. I don't know if they took it or not. I don't know if they did it or not. But all I know is he was very sloppy, y'all. He started getting sloppy. He started not caring. By the time I left the job and quit, there was about four girls. It was like, because girls used to come and go. And there was about four girls that had told me he had tried to talk to them or flirt with them or rub on them, you know. And I'm like, bro, one of these girls is going to get your ass caught up, like, you trying it like you you going too far my boy like you doing too much baby boy come down <laughs> but no for real, like baby boy calm down you're doing too much like really i was like he's gonna get caught so i know he's gotten caught you guys like i want to say i that's what i heard but i don't want to be spreading any rumors i don't want to be lying but i want to say that's what i heard because he also had another sub way up in the mall and maybe I'm talking too much now. <laughs> Forget it. I mean, if you wouldn't have done it, it wouldn't be nothing to talk about. 
So if I'm exposing too much, oh well, Mr. Duck. You shouldn't have done it. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, he had a store up in uh, um he had a subway up in the mall. And the last time I went in there, like the store was closing and one of the girls said that um he was about to sell it or something. And I think she said like him and his wife was going through a divorce. I want to say that's what I remember happening. That's why I could, that's why I feel so assured that she found out. But I really just I really can't remember, y'all. Honestly, I really can't remember. But I really think that's what happened. And if she found out, that's great because, like I said, this was a beautiful woman. She was always there for that man, y'all. Like this lady was, she was there for him. Like whatever he needed her to do, she was doing it. She was trying to run the store, take care of the kids. Take, like, she was a good woman. And you out here in the streets messing over this woman. Like, that's embarrassing. And then you messing over her with your freaking employees. Like, that's embarrassing. That is not cool. Like, I wasn't with it. I wasn't finna fuck with that. I wasn't finna, mm -mm. I was not with it. Like, nah. This wasn't like the, the, the other story time where I was excited to do it. Mm -mm. I didn't want to do it. I didn't do it. And it was not going to happen <laughs> at all. Like, keep your $1,000 and go on to the next. So, yeah, you guys. So, um, I ended up quitting the job not because of Mr. Duck. I ended up quitting the job because I got pregnant with my firstborn. And and at that time, my baby dad did not want me to work. Like, he didn't want me to work. And that was it. <laughs> I didn't, like, I didn't really care. So that was that. So I didn't work. So that's how I ended up quitting so lame. That's how I ended up quitting. I got pregnant. And, yeah. Anyways, you guys, if you liked this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Drop down in the comments. Or drop down whatever you would like. Um, if you are not subscribed, like, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe to your girl. Turn that red button gray and turn on your bell to so be notified next time I upload a video. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much. I love you guys so freaking much. Like, I really love you guys. Thank you for all the stuff. Thank you for all the views. Thank you for the comments. Thank you guys for the engagement. Just, I just think y'all like I love y'all and I really truly appreciate you guys. Uh, yeah. I guess I say y'all on the phone. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. And I will see you guys later. Bye.